you look over the last 25 years, we see the emergence of, you know, fMRI research, for example, in ADHD and early uh, papers with perhaps small sample sizes in an fMRI scanner trying to outline particular brain areas or circuitry or kind of networks that might be implicated in ADHD. And to be sure, there are some core findings that have stood the test of time. But again, as science increases in complexity, what we're finding is that over the last 25 years, our science has become much more open. Institutions are sharing their data sets with other institutions so as to, co to combine these into larger and larger data sets and test earlier findings for replication. Uh, at the same time, there's multiple large-scale multi-site studies that are national and global in looking at this data on ADHD or on brain science or on just general child development and a variety of mental health conditions that are causing certain conclusions from earlier on in the neuroscience research to be questioned uh, as they might not stand up to scrutiny with larger and larger sample sizes and other findings to be considered even more solid because they are being supported by those large-scale multi-site studies. So again, really exciting stuff.